Let's go to Cassandra in the United Kingdom. Cassandra, welcome to News Talk Online on the Pal Talk News Network. Uh, thank you very much, Gary, and hello, Beverly. Um, I, I've listened to the to the rhetoric, and I, I you know I listen to the rhetoric that goes on in uh, in political forums and the uh, and the tactics that are used and. Uh, it, it would seem that uh, a lot of the tactics are, in fact, to place one person against another. Do you do you feel that the responsibility uh, lies with our leadership to any extent that they should, in fact, be uh, be setting an example? And although you can you can have disagreements, that you need not have the sort of uh, vitriolic um, rhetoric. That, that occurs at, at the top levels in our societies, should they not be making the uh, the example, setting the example for the rest of us to to follow? Thank you, Beverly. I could not. Yeah, I could not agree more with that comment. I think that uh, it, it is all about role models, and when you think about, I mean, of course, if our leaders are going to be talking to one another with such disrespect and again almost dehumanizing in the approach. You know, these are these are complex problems and when you started out, Gary, you said you're a problem solver and that's how I've spent all of my career. And you know, to me there are problems to be solved and we're not going to agree on the way to solve them. That that's absolutely a given. But sometimes we can agree to disagree and try to get underneath, well, where do we have a common ground? You know, what are some things that we can agree on and try to go from there? And it's very disheartening to see our leaders not taking that perspective, you know, not trying to understand, okay, well, what, what, what is it that we're really trying to accomplish here? And maybe the way that we go about doing it, we have differences of opinion, but what's really underneath it? So, you don't hear people talking in terms of solving the problem. You just hear them talking in terms of why the other person is the problem or is stupid or is you know, so misguided. And um, so I couldn't agree more. I think that it has to start at the top. At the same time, again, I feel that you know, we, we all, though, do have our own choices day to day. So, you know, we have to be part of the solution. Each of us has to be part of the solution, or this is just never going to shift. The guest is Beverly Flaxington, F-L-A-X-I-N-G-T-O-N. Her book is Understanding Other People, The Five Secrets to Human Behavior, and you can find it at her site, understandingotherpeople.com. Justin Duckham from uh, the Talk Radio News Service in Washington, D.C., even the Secretary of Defense, Robert Gates says there can and should be cuts to his own budget. Uh, he has said that, but the uh, Congress has been reluctant to listen to the person who's in charge of the Defense Department, ironically. Uh, Gates has floated killing uh, several weapons programs that have essentially been deemed wasteful and uh, inefficient, including um, some Joint Strike fighters, as well as the Marines and CBS vehicles. Uh, however, a lot of these things are made within uh, individual representatives' districts, and uh, they uh, don't quite see how these things could be wasteful since uh, it essentially puts bread on the table for their constituents. So um, although the Defense Secretary may uh, have some very um, vocal opinions about this, it's unlikely uh, that the Republicans are going to move behind it. Interesting stuff going on in Washington, D.C., as always, and a very comprehensive report, as always, as well. Justin Duckham from the Talk Radio News Service, our Washington Bureau. Thanks for joining us. Uh, news Talk Online on the Pal Talk News Network. Have a good one. We have breaking news from Pakistan where a 7.4 on the Richter scale uh, earthquake rattled buildings and nerves within the past hour. Tareen Naveed, our uh, correspondent in Moulton, Pakistan, is on the line with us. Tareen, did you feel the trembler? Yes, my brother. The whole room was shaking, and uh, all the chandeliers and uh, uh, the monitor and everything. And I was swinging in my chair, 